Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Just gonna borrow this for a second. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. 
maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Ah, but you go on ahead. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. It's a feeding trough. Empty. like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Oh. <laughs> 
So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Brisket? You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing.
they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? something oh sit your ass down lee this lady has made you a meal yeah lee what's gotten into you he just had a start he could use some goddamn manners mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off you're eating him that's what crazy the hell? you're scaring the kids lee lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him lily there's always something with this guy mom i was eating that what is going on we need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? You fucker! I'll tear you apart! Damn it! 
I will knock the Me? goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Oh, Ben up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Please settle down! I'll, 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 I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy! Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Look, we're running out of time. If you don't want to deal with this, I will. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three, You're fucking four, worthless, Lee. Five. No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. 
Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katya, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him, that's all. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. It's not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. Sorry, Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps us changing? Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. I know. 
I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. human slaughterhouse. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. God, what's wrong with these people? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Plan as any. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. You know, just sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kid. We must meet on that tray. <laughs> oh, I know. This is my close closer. part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right Take out. Take him out together. <laughs> it never it doesn't know how. Down. He's got to move past us to get rid of the fucker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. What's he doing? I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is at. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me. The meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. 
Just like he didn't kill Jolene! This is not how the world works now! You won't make me kill you! Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. Way too long. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit! How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Katja and the kid. Andy! 
Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this! All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. 
It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff? Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You know, hero, you destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. A shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Hey, 
There were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? How are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases at all. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> 